Institute of Chemical Technology ICT, formerly the University Department of Chemical Technology UDCT, is a chemical technology research university located in Mumbai, India. The institute also has campuses at Jalna, Marathwada and Bhubaneswar in collaboration with Indian Oil Corporation and IIT Kharagpur it is focused on training and research in various branches of chemical engineering, chemical technology, and pharmacy. It was established in 1933 and was granted deemed university status in 2008, making it the only state funded deemed university in India. On 12 February 2018, it was given status of Category 1 Institute with graded autonomy by MHRD and UGC. It is also an institute with a special status as mentioned in Section IV of the Report of the Empowered Expert Committee in 2018. History The ICT was founded in 1933 as a University Department of Chemical Technology of the University of Mumbai. Robert Forster was first head of the department 1933 followed by K. Venkataraman, who continued its development. It was considerably improved under the guidance of Man Mohan Sharma. The university conferred the autonomous status on the UDCT in 1994, with concurrence from the Maharashtra state government and the UGC. UDCT was renamed as the Mumbai University Institute of Chemical Technology Autonomous MUICT on the 26th of January 2002. In June 2004, in accordance with the Technical Education Quality Improvement Programme of the Government of India, under which the institute was selected as a lead institution, the Government of Maharashtra granted complete autonomy to the institute. On 12 September 2008, it was granted the deemed university status and renamed as the Institute of Chemical Technology. Institute of Chemical Technology was the first institute to be granted the elite badge by the government of the state of Maharashtra. This status put the institute on a par with other reputable schools such as the Indian Institutes of Technology, Indian Institute of Science and the Indian Institutes of Science Education and Research. It also makes the institute, which has plans to set up a satellite campus, eligible for various special grants from the union and the state governments. Campus ICT is located on a 16 acres 65,000 square meters campus at 19.024 degrees north 72.859 degrees east, 19.024, 72.859. The academic building faces Nathalal Parak Marg and has a beautiful architecture with fine dressed stone. Other buildings including three boys hostels, two girls hostels, faculty and staff apartments are located behind the academic building. The rear boundary of the institute runs along Kidwai Road. The institute is located opposite to VJTI. Satellite campuses are being set up in Jalna, Maharashtra and in Bhubaneswar, Odisha in collaboration with Indian Oil Corporation and Indian Institute of Technology Kharagpur IIT-KGP, for the time being the Bhubaneswar campus of ICT will function from IIT Kharagpur Extension Center. Topic: Academics. 
At present ICT offers three degrees at undergraduate level, B.Tech, Bachelor of Technology, B.Chem, Eng, Bachelor of Chemical Engineering, B.Pharm, Bachelor of Pharmacy. The institute offers several courses at the master's level which specialize in chemical technology, chemical engineering and pharmacy. M. S. C. degree from ICT is accredited by Royal Society of Chemistry and is only second institute in India to receive this accreditation. It also offers integrated M. Tech degree, which is a one-of-a-kind degree program in the country. ICT is accredited by AICTE, NAAC, NBA, NIRF, and UGC. Topic Departments ICT has specialization and runs several courses in the following areas Technology of Fibers and Textiles Processing, Technology of Dyes and Intermediates, Technology of Pharmaceuticals and Fine Chemicals, Food Engineering and Technology Paints technology Polymer technology Plastic technology Technology of oils and surfactants Fibers and textiles processing technology Surface coating technology Perfumery and flavor technology Bioprocess technology with special emphasis on downstream processing, food biotechnology, drug delivery technology, medicinal chemistry, medicinal natural products. Topic: <laughs> Faculty and student support. The ICT has sanctioned positions of 108 faculty, 29 professors, 38 associate professors and 41 assistant professors and a support staff of 240. There are 114 visiting faculties who typically are industry researchers, 7 emeritus faculties and 4 adjuncts. The ICT has a tradition of establishment of endowments with an objective of supporting faculty positions, foreign travel assistance, merit cum means scholarships, staff welfare, library, campus development, research fellowships and seed money for research by young faculty. There are 90 faculty endowments in the institute. All these endowments have been established through generous donations by alumni, industries, philanthropists and well-wishers. Only part of the interest up to 50 to 70% is used towards the purpose of the endowment and the remaining is invested back into the corpus. There are 22 endowment chairs, as well as 49 visiting fellowships which helps attract the best professionals to the institute from all over the world who interact with UG and PG students, faculty and alumni. The honoraria range from Rs to Rs 1.25 for a period of one day to 15 days. Some eminent faculty from institutes such as MIT, Purdue, Cambridge, Monash, UC Berkeley, UCSB, Montreal have taught UG and PG courses in ICT under these endowments. These lectures will form part of audit courses for research students. Besides, public lectures are organized under each endowment. Each academic year, 251 students are supported through under merit cum means scholarships. The range is Rs 75000 per annum per person through several endowments, private trust and annual commitments by alumni. 
All economically deprived students are given assistance in the form of tuition fees, hostel fees, mess bills and travel assistance to present papers in national conferences. Research ICT has a very strong and celebrated research culture and is considered to be the best postgraduate centre in India and comparable to other top-level centres in the world. The first ever PhD in India in engineering was awarded by ICT in 1941. Currently, ICT graduates 100 PhDs annually, which is about 10% of India's engineering PhDs. ICT has strong relationships with the industries and many government as well as industry-sponsored projects take shape in ICT. In 2011, the Ministry of Textiles sanctioned ICT as National Centre of Excellence in Sportswear with a grant of 24.5 crore rupees for researching sports-related apparel and goods. With this, ICT has become the first institute in India to conduct research on sports fabrics. ICT hosts several research centres within the campus. These include DBT ICT Department of Biotechnology Center for Energy Biosciences ICT Day Department of Atomic Energy Center for Chemical Engineering Education and Research UGC Networking Resource Center in Chemical Engineering and Center for Green Technology DIES Department of ICT manufactures the entire requirement of laser dyes in India. Chemical Engineering Department designed a heavy water reactor which has resulted in 50% reduction in the energy requirement and 7% increase in productivity of heavy water requirement. Professor J. B. Joshi, former director, ICT, designed an eco-cooker U.S. patent U.S. 6,668,707 which has thermal efficiency of 60–70% compared to 10–20% thermal efficiency of conventional cooker. The cooker has been commercialized at several places resulting considerable energy saving. Topic Library Established in nineteen thirty four, Professor M. M. Sharma Library functions as the central library of the Institute and is one of the best special libraries in the country. It performs a dual role of an academic library as well as a research library, catering to the information needs of the in-house students and faculty and attracts a variety of readers, students, in particular, and technologists, industrialists, and research community. It is housed in a separate ground plus two-storied building and follows a completely open access concept. It is a unique library in India to have its own endowment fund. The library can boast of rich heritage collection of old classic books and bound volumes dating back to 1930s. It has 38,200 books, 25,290 journals and 10,000 standards and subscribes to 120 international and 25 national journals. Along with the traditional collection it also has a significant digital collection with access to more than 500 electronic journals has access to databases such as Reaxes, SciFinder, Scopus, Web of Science, etc. The library is fully computerized using the library management software called Libsys. 
it can be termed as a hybrid library with best collection of printed and digital documents. The library is also a member of Eshod Sindhu Consortium. It has MOU with Bonnet for participating in exchange program devised by MISSAT, DST, New Delhi. <laughs> Fellows of Royal Society Till date ICT has produced two Fellows of Royal Society out of 60-odd Fellows from India. One of them is Dr. M. M. Sharma who has been Director of the Institute and other is Raghunath Anant Mishelkar, who currently serves as the Chancellor. G. D. Yadav, current Vice-Chancellor of ICT and Balchandra Banerj, Head of Department of Chemistry were bestowed with Fellowship of Royal Society of Chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Various activities Technological Association Technological Association is an organization that conducts co-curricular and extracurricular activities in ICT. Currently, the Vice-Chancellor, G.D. Yadav is the President of TAR and Sunil S. Bhagwat is its Vice President. A 24-member core student body organizes these activities. Topic: <inaudible> Entrepreneurship Cell. ICT inaugurated its entrepreneurship cell in April 2013 with inauguration lecture from Ashwin Dani, founder of Asian Paints, and Yogesh Katari, founder of Alkal Amines. A fellowship for visit to Korea was offered at the time of inauguration. The primary purpose behind the entrepreneurship cell was to accelerate the entrepreneurial culture at ICT. ICT also has international dignitaries visiting regularly for contributing in the research as well as guidance students. Some of the international dignitaries include Ahmet Uzumcu, Director General of Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. There are more than 500 first-generation entrepreneurs which have come up from alumni and from the portals of ICT. Topic hostels within the campus walls, five hostel buildings cater to the students' need of accommodation. Hostel No. 1, 4, and 5 accommodate male students whereas Hostel No. 2 and 3 are girls' hostels. The Hostel No. 1, better known as Old Hostel, was established in 1952, has 48 single rooms and 48 double rooms and accommodates 160 students and four faculty members. Hostel 2, and 3 accommodate approximately 259 and 120 female students. Hostel 4 is typically reserved for freshman students. Hostel 5 was built and inaugurated in 2005. This building was built at the cost of 70 million rupees, with majority of the money raised by the alumni of the college. It has seven floors, about 190 double rooms, three large guest rooms, four faculty flats, a dining hall, and a health clinic and a gym and houses 330 students. <laughs> <laughs> Student festivals Topic: Rangot Sav. 
Rangotsav is a conference on advances in polymer and coating, technical festival of polymer and surface coating technology department. Topic: Sportsaga. Sportsaga is the annual sports festival of the Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai. Since its inception in the year 2005, Sportsaga has drawn to its sports enthusiasts from all over the city, state and nation. The 2013 edition featured over 20 events including the All Mumbai ICT Marathon and a closely contested athletics meet. The level of competition included not only the state's top athletes but every type of sporting enthusiast, through both mainstream sporting events and informal events. <laughs> Vortex, the Chemfest In 2013, it was decided by the Technological Association Student Council of ICT that Exergy would be merged with the other technical festivals of the Institute, YICC Young Innovators Choice Competition and YRC Young Researchers Competition. This led to the creation of Vortex, the Chemfest. It saw over 5,000 participants from various colleges across the country coming into the ICT to showcase their chemical engineering skills. <laughs> Manzar Manzar is the cultural festival of the Institute of Chemical Technology. It has completed 10 years since it first began in 2007, and 2016 saw the 10th edition of this festival. Every year, Manzar proudly hosts a variety of events in music, dance, literary arts and fine arts. The dance and fashion show events are the most popular, with active participation of students from all over the city. Manzar has a social initiative called Awaz, through which students are able to do their bit for all-round societal development and improvement of underprivileged lives. Apart from all this, Manzar also has the Cultural Night and the Popular Night. Many famous artists have performed on the Manzar stage, including Shan, Kailash Kha, Shankar Esan Loy, Fire on Dawson, Shalmali Kolgade, Sachin Jigar, Niladri Kumar, Arajit Singh, Erman Malik and Farhan Akhtar. Apart from that, comedians such as Kenny Sebastian, Biswa Kalyan Rath have also entertained the crowd during Manzar. Manzar attracts a crowd of over 20,000 people every year. Topic: Texpression. The Division of Fibers and Textiles Processing annually holds Texpression, a cultural festival. Texpression also brings the alumni of the division together to foster camaraderie and network among them. Topic: Publications. Topic: The Spirit. The Spirit is the official bi-monthly cultural magazine come newsletter of ICT. There are typically five to six issues a year. The newsletter highlights the achievements of students and alumni, has news and information about Institute, and is a platform for students to showcase their art and literary skills. The first issue was released in October 2006.
Topic: The Bombay Technologist. The Bombay Technologist is the annual peer-reviewed journal of the Institute, started in 1951. The journal publishes technical articles in the thrust areas of science and technology, written by undergraduate as well as graduate students of the Institute. Annually, the three best articles published are awarded prizes. The best postgraduate student in the institute is given the Bombay Technologist Best Postgraduate Student Award. To foster the talents of the Ictions in non-technical areas, the journal has instituted Bombay Technologist Creativity Award. The Bombay Technologist supports partial travel and registration expenses of students presenting technical papers in India. ICT had previously lacked the framework for an organized, official and widespread UG research ethic in tandem with academics. However, with the Bombay Technologist Undergraduate Research Programme BTUGRP, it has become one of the first in India in laying a foundation for a robust UG research system, in pace with other globally renowned universities. An archive of past issues is maintained on the Bombay Technologist website. Topic Rankings ICT was ranked 10th among engineering institutes by the National Institutional Ranking Framework in 2018, 4th in the Pharmacy Ranking, 19 among universities and 30 overall. ICT was ranked 118 in the QS BRICS rank list. Topic Notable alumni The Institute has produced many first-generation entrepreneurs and academics. Civilian honors awarded to alumni include 3 Padma Vibhushan, 8 Padma Bhushan and 10 Padma Shri awardees. Only two Indian engineers, Raghunath Mishelkar and Man Mohan Sharma, have been elected a Fellow of the Royal Society FRS, both of whom are alumni of ICT. Among the notable people who have attended or graduated from ICT are, Mukesh Ambani, Chairman of the Reliance Industries KEKI Hormuzji Garda, Founder of Garda Chemicals Ashwin Dani, Non-Executive Vice Chairman of Asian Paints Limited M. M. Sharma, FRS Raghunath Anant Mishelkar, FRS, Former Director General of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research K. N. G. Reddy, Founder of Dr. Reddy's Laboratories Srinivas, Playback singer Narottam Sekzaria, philanthropist, chairman of ACC Cement and Ambuja Cement Group B.D. Tilak, Padma Bhushan, and director of National Chemical Laboratory Pune J.B. Joshi, chemical engineer, nuclear scientist Ashish Kishore Lele, chemical engineer and Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga Prize winner Madhukar Parik, co-founder of Pidalite Industries Doreswami Ramkrishna, professor at Purdue University Vivek Ranade, chemical engineer, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga Prize winner Samir Mitragorty, inventor, entrepreneur and researcher, Harvard, UCSB Nilesh Gupta, Managing Director of Lupin Limited